Hello everybody! This video is for um, those that are doing the Halloween parade with me. First of all, thank you, thank you, thank you for participating. We have about 31 who are participating, children and adults, and I'm so excited because this year is the first year that my classes have been formally invited by Derry City Council to participate. Usually I have to invite myself and force myself to be invited. So this is the first time I didn't have to do that. So I'm very excited. Secondly, I just wanted to send this video to kind of give you an idea of what to expect. And um, to give you a heads up that I'm going to be doing two other videos and sending it to you guys, uploading it to probably YouTube and sending you the link. So you have um, access to the choreography that we're going to be doing. Um, the one choreography we started in class this week. So in case you can't make it to class for whatever reason, this will give you an opportunity to practice at home. Um, but do try to come to as many classes as possible so we can really get this nailed down and maybe execute it flawlessly for the parade. Um, the The second video I'm going to upload is, it's the second song we're going to do for the parade. It's not so much a dancey piece, it's more dramatic. But there will be a tiny bit of choreography with it. So um, those will be two videos coming to you very soon. Um, consider yourselves very lucky because I despise videoing myself. First of all, I sound like a chipmunk. And I hate watching myself dance on camera because personally I think I look like I'm having some type of fit. I don't think I look good at all. But nobody likes themselves on camera, right? So I'm going to do it for you guys so you have that opportunity to practice and feel comfortable. Um, so our part for the parade is Mexican Day of the Dead. And Mexican Day of the Dead, traditionally the costumes will be that sort of um, sugar, sugar skull face paint. And I think we're going to have, like, maybe some feathers and different embellishments and stuff for our costumes. If you don't know what the Sugar Skull looks like, just Google it. Mexican Day of the Dead costumes or Sugar Skull, and there'll be all kinds of images to pop up. There'll be something similar to that. Um, on the day of the parade, Saturday, the 31st of October, I need everybody to arrive at Pilot's Row by 4 o'clock. So this will be, give us time to get into costume and to get our makeup done. Now, when you arrive at Pilot's Row, please, please, please have an all-black top on, all-black trousers, all-black shoes, all-black socks with little to no logos at all on them. Um, this kind of keeps everything consistent, and our costumes will be put on top of our clothes like that. Let's see what else here. Now, I know because we are getting such an early start, some of the kids that are participating won't get to go trick-or-treating. And I'm sorry about that because I enjoy trick-or-treating with my daughter. But um, I'm going to try and make it as fun as possible. I'm going to bring, since it's Halloween, different um, candy and snacks and things like that. And all the other groups in the parade. Well, not all of them, but most of them will be meeting at Pilot's Row as well. Um, so it's going to be kind of chaotic, but I think it'll be a fun, like, buzzing kind of party atmosphere. Um, once everybody is ready in their costumes, we'll all be boarding a bus or some type of transport up to the Dairy City Council car park where everybody's going to be lined up to begin the parade. <clears throat> so, um, just to give you an idea, one song will be kind of dancey that we're doing in class. The other song is going to be more dramatic. Um, it's a dramatic, traditional Mexican Day of the Dead song. Um, for those that don't know, you probably do know, but for those that don't, um, the Mexican Day of the Dead, what they do is they sort of celebrate the dead, and they make it kind of a party and a big deal, and they normally decorate the deceased tombstones with flowers. Traditionally, I think it's marigolds. So what I'm going to try to do is um, do a tombstone-type prop and give everybody these different, you know, probably artificial flowers, and we're going to take those and decorate this prop tombstone with the flowers and then we'll do some type of like celebratory kind of crazy freestyle dance and I'll video myself doing what I have in mind so you know what we're doing so there's really only one bit of choreography that you have to learn which is the bit that we're doing in class um I think that's all I have for you guys right now um if there's anything else I'll let you know but in the meantime just 
keep a wee eye out for the two videos coming to you. And um, again, thank you so much for participating. I think this year is going to be really fun because in case you haven't heard, according to USA Today, which is a newspaper in the States, Derry is one of the top 10 cities in the world for having the best like Halloween event party or whatever it is. So you guys have this really great opportunity to maybe to be in this historical event that can maybe catapult Derry to number one in the world. I don't know. It's just really cool. So anyway, I will talk to you guys soon, and thanks again.